There we go. Now, welcome back, everybody. We're going to go back into this tunnel of love. We've had some more issues with this than I would care to acknowledge. Specifically because every time I start this level up, it starts to crash again. Hopefully we won't have this issue, but if we do, I apologize. Because you won't ever see this. But anyway, welcome back to Cooperatives, guys. We're uh, currently playing Sam and Max Hit the Road. This is episode 2, I believe. This is about take 430. But, you know, I mean, this should provide an excellent... Oh, God non terrible thingamajig oh Jesus I'm so scared this game's gonna crash again okay but anyway so we see that and I think I can take Max and just whip him at this I was wrong it's a few it's a fuse box I can't use that from here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to write this again because I kind of messed up. I can't use that from here. Just another random acts of violence. Random acts of violence. Classic puns. Okay, so anyway, that was the tunnel of love, guys. Thank God it didn't crash. Well, that was fun. My little body's covered with swan pimples. Aw, swan pimples. That sounds fun. It's like goose pimples, but the tunnel of love again? white? Yes. Why not? I guess I never realized that Max is himself not a perfect shade of white. Okay. So. It's a nifty flashlight equipped... Now that I'm using the black light. Why, it's old Mr. McCready, the janitor. Mr. McCready. I can't use that from here. I can't use that from here, why not? I can't use that I, I can't I can't use that from here. Well I'll just keep clicking until he figures it out. I can't use that. I can't use that from I can't use that from here. I can't use that from I can't use that I can't use that from here. I can't pick that up from here. That's 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 probably a good ah, idea. Damn it. Okay. I should have tried it sooner. Well, I had the good idea, but I did it too late. Man, we're gonna speed through here again. Fudge pickles. That ride continues to amuse me. I think we're supposed to do something in there, Sam. Oh man, I didn't realize they gave us that kind of hint. Well, it's a good thing we know now. I can't use these things. Let's ride the TOL again. TOL. Now we understand. The TOL. Better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Milton. I mean, that's... That's one spooky gill guy. I mean, he's not wrong either. It's a fuse box. Oh, Jesus. That's a good idea. Maybe I should try it when I'm a little closer to the fuse box. So much going on, my old-timey computer can't handle mm. it. Oh, oh, I lost my cursor. So this should do something. Oh, okay. You know how you stop a ride? You dunk a rabbit in a pool of gross water. Makes perfect sense. Now, uh, Max is trying to take the axe. He can't do that, but I think I have a little thing I can't to do. Pick that up. Get off of I there, Max. Happen to just tug on this old man's beard. Mike. We can see who he really Check is. I'll never shave again. Oh my! You never I killed did. her. That's fair. Max never shaves. You never pee in the toilet. Oh boy. Who are you? 
I'm Doug, the Mole Man. Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We fight crime. And we like long walks along the beach. Oh, that's nice. What do you want from me? Do you know anything about Bruno the Sasquatch? I don't know. Bruno the Sasquatch? Why, the stories I could tell you. Stop him, Sam. He's going to tell us a story. Oh, my. I first met Bruno 25 years ago in Saigon. Saigon? That's a weird place. And then there was the time we all had our taxes done by a platypus. And... Oh shut my. up, for God's sake. Just shut up. Thank you, Max. Look, we just want to know where Bruno is now. Gee, I have no idea where he went. Maybe you should talk to my uncle. Your uncle? Uncle? Yeah, my uncle Shavuul. Shavuul. He's really into Bigfoots. When I was a kid, he used to tell me stories about giant Bigfoot parties, where all the Bigfoots of the world would get together and dance Bigfoot dances and... Oh That's my. great, kid. Where can we find your uncle? I don't know. He disappeared a short time after he helped build the largest ball of twine on Earth. Oh my. That sounds like a fun place, though. Largest ball of twine. Somehow I, I imagine it'll be I even larger than openly. life. Look. You two seem trustworthy. Oh, we are. Yes, you can trust us as far as we can throw you. Good answer, Max. So if you bring me some pecan-flavored candy, I'll give you my key to Trixie's trailer. I'll also tell you a big secret about how Bruno escaped. Oh Why man, that's really now? forthcoming. Because I'm hungry. You shit. All right, fine. Pick your pecan Here, candies. I thought you might like some candy. Thanks. Pecan's my favorite. Hey, you're all right. Take this key as a token of my appreciation. Oh, yeah. And you're gonna spill your candies. You little shit. Good. Wow, this is some key. I like that heavy duty key, okay, yeah. Okay, Sam, let's get the hell out of here. In fact, Wait, I believe we used a key like I've this in the last game we played Day of the Tentacle. Ah. Keep it short, kid. My partner's got a low tolerance for long stories. Well, it all started the day before today. I you remember yesterday. It, like it was yesterday. Oh, yes, good. It's not widely known, but Trixie had fallen in love with Bruno. Oh, man. Every Chicken night, she'd gone. sneak into the freak show tent and read to him what she imagined to be his favorite bedtime stories. I guess for a girl from Scranton, that makes sense. She seemed as happy as a self-mutilated parody of nature could be. She did this to herself? That's... that's a little fucked. But she could never truly be happy until her beloved Bruno is free. Ooh. That kick just disintegrated. Finally, she decided to do something about Bruno's predicament. She begged Flambe, the Flambe, fire not Flambeau. to free ah. the Bigfoot from his icy cage. Flambe took pity on poor Trixie and liberated Bruno. And the happy couple haven't been seen since. What are you doing, Max? Hell of a story, ain't it? It's an interesting story. Good thing I got a free key out of it. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. The rest of this place creeps me the hell out. He's not my type. I Good. think somebody needs to flip a switch before this thing starts again. Oh, shit. Uh, I think it's in the other room. Well, it's a short circuited tunnel. Yeah, here we go. Do do we? There. That should get things running again. Time to go, Max. I swear this guy gives me the creeps again. Okay. Now, I think we've done pretty much everything we can at the tunnel, or at the counter level right now. If I walk back that way, it'll take me back to the splicer cone of tragedy. But now we've got some places we can go. We can head to the world's largest ball of twine, or we can head to Fish World. Now, I acknowledge this does not look like much, but I think I can pick up one of these buckets of fish. 
Look at that giant fish, you're cute. I hear a distant rumbling. Well, oh. you should have thought of that before we left. No, I don't think that's Max this time. It's a helicopter bringing it into. Oh, wow, that's a pretty cool animated helicopter. It's a pretty small helicopter, though. What's he doing? Oh, is he stealing a bag of fish? I wonder if maybe this is what they're here for. This old man's just here catching fish at its overpopulated river. And they're taking him off to the fish world. Fucking weird. Weird. Uh oh. Time to save, boys. I've renamed our game Soundtrap just to be safe. All right, but I took up that bag of fish. We're gonna come over here. I don't think it's I can fight him. Time. But I can talk to him. What's going I don't think he'll on tell here? me anything important. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I'm risking pneumonia standing in this creek. That's what's going on. Oh man. You're gonna get sick? What's the deal with that helicopter? That helicopter is the bane of my existence. Every time I catch enough fish to fill a net, the helicopter swoops down and carries the fish to the Ball of Twine Diner in Central Dis, Minnesota. Central no Dis, sad. Minnesota. I know. It's like being stuck in a Norman Mailer novel. Oh my. So, how are they biting? How are they biting? Uh, they're biting pretty well. In the last hour, they've bitten an arm, two fingers, and my nose. Oh my. If they bite any better, I'll need reconstructive surgery. Well, I mean, that's honest, I guess. Alright, time Don't to go. Move. So, I'm pretty sure we can use this rasp. We might actually have to go to the Ball of Twilight Diner in order to get this to work. I can't use these things together. Okay. So, long story short, we're gonna actually walk and hide inside that fish. But I think our game's about to crash. So, we're gonna save again real quick. We're gonna hop in our car. We're gonna head to the ball of wine. Oh, Jesus. Starting to freak me out, thing. Freaking me out. We're gonna walk up here. We're gonna take this little tram. They did amazing 3D work in this game for as old as it is. And, uh, yeah. Once we get up to the top, we'll probably call it a day, I think. Shake a leg, Max. Max, come on. All right. So yeah, this is the world's largest ball of twine. Slightly more grandiose than the real life world's largest ball of twine. But it's a good thing I chose to save because our game crashed. Anyway, we'll catch you later, guys. Bye.